in demand at Tea in the Park 2011. Got ben and Ross from FedEx Solar. How are you guys? Very, Very good. Well, yeah. yeah, good. Thank you. And there's my first problem with two microphones. I immediately put one to each of you. I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> uh, okay, so you've not yet played Tea in the Park no. 2011. What are your initial thoughts? Because you're in a tent... And it ha well, I was going to say it's sunny, but it's not being sunny. It's all cloudy again. Do you want it to rain at Tea in the Park just so that you get a bigger, bigger um, crowd in the tent? There, there is always that thought. It does work. It worked at Glastonbury. But a bit of trench spirit is fine, isn't it? People getting involved. I think a bit of rain will drive people into the tent. I think it's fine. Glastonbury is a wonderful grounding for the big one, Tea in the Park. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Gone. Exactly. Just a warm-up. Little warm-up show for, of course, Tea in the Park. We're massively excited. It's going to be going to be very good. It's our, it's our only festival of Scottish festival of the summer, so yeah, we're really up for it. Yeah, it's going to be great. What other Scottish festivals have you done? Uh, that makes it sound like you've done heaps in the past. This is no, the only we, one you're doing this year. No, we have. Like, we, we kind of made, this summer we're doing festivals, and last summer we've been doing festivals. But as a band, that's the, the only two summers we've kind of done the festival run. Uh, last year we did uh, Rock Ness. Which was great, um, but uh, yeah, but this it's all about tea in the park, definitely, so yeah. And do you get a chance to wander around the site and see what else is going on, or are you totally 100% focused on what you're doing at this stage? I suppose later is different. I think afterwards we're going to go, and uh, I mean, we only got here about an hour ago, and we go on in about an hour, so not, not, not much before, but definitely afterwards, we're gonna, there's a lot of acts we want to go and see. It's a great lineup. So yeah. I, th I think we're going to hang around in the tent that we're in for an hour afterwards while Metronomy play, uh, definitely catch their set, and then, yeah, and then just wander out. And the lineup is so good that any tent you kind of walk into, I think you're going to see something pretty good. So Obviously, you're now a well-known name. There, there's a lot of unsigned bands that play at Tea in the Park on the BBC Introducing stage, on the Tea Break stage, and indeed on the Red Bull stage that you're playing yeah. on, who, who've got through uh, via voting the Red Bull Bedroom Jam uh, yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So um, a, a lot of them do have flyers that they're handing out, saying, come and see us at so-and-so time. Yeah. Now, if you were doing that, and you knew there were lots of people at Tea in the Park who'd never heard of Phoenix Solar, what would your flyer say? What would it say? The thing is, like, I think we're still giving out flyers. I think there's someone within our party that's giving out flyers and free t-shirts. So it doesn't really matter what level you're at, get it out there. But I think our flyer, what would it say? It'd have to offer something free, a free incentive. Free t-shirts, what we're, what we're actually doing at this festival. Yeah, yeah, free t-shirts. We are, like, at the front, get to the front, we're going to be giving out t-shirts. So, yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, brilliant. Have a good one. Fennec Solar on In Demand Uncut. In Demand at Tea in the Park 2011.